get the other skin. Now my skins are ready. And I'm going to turn this one around because I like to work with the leading edge to me. So I get the bottom shuck, put the bottom shuck with the leading edge facing me. I use porous release film to keep the wing skin from sticking to the foam. It's more expensive than wax paper, but it's got pinholes every quarter of an inch. It lets the air through, but any epoxy that gets through has such a small bond that it easily breaks free. To use this in composite layups and the first couple of times I laid up a wing I had skin sticking to the foam and I tried the wax paper thing but I wasn't as happy with it as I am with this and you can reuse the porous release film as long as it doesn't get torn so I'll line the skin with the back of the shot. Not real critical because we're going to have to align it several times anyway. Notice I have a black mark on the end of my core. I always put a black mark on the right hand end of the shuck in the core to keep from confusing. ends because especially when you're dealing with symmetrical cores even though they're supposed to be symmetrical you don't want to be changing the orientation of the core and the shuck <clears throat> and on non-symmetrical wings it's just easier it's just a quick visual aid saves you time keeps you from making a mistake and I really don't have to worry about the alignment as much as I'm worrying about it here but I do try to get it as aligned as well as I can during each phase now I'm going to put the top shuck on it without the skin or anything and I'm going to flip it over and this is one of my tricks Getting stuff into the bag without it slipping is a challenge because with the epoxy on the skins and on the cores 
everything likes to slip. I came up with the idea of using T-pins to keep parts from slipping while I'm getting them into the bag and it's actually worked out very very well just make sure you don't stick into the carbon fiber I do one on each end first Now I'll put them about every five to six inches. Now flip the wing back over, take the top chuck off, and on the trailing edge I'm going to put some 64th inch plywood and I'm going to add a little bit more glue even though there's some from the cloth. We'll be sure that trailing edge is nice and solid. In this particular case, it's a strip of half inch by 64th inch plywood. Put some glue on top of it. 